everybody! Welcome to Wednesday! So much Luna this week. That's right! More Luna than you can handle. Too much Luna. You can never have too much Luna. <laughs> Hi, guys! It's the Pope! Hey, Pope! I skipped North Korean state TV for this reference. Oh, you're gonna get in trouble. Their almighty, their, um, their most mighty leader has eyes everywhere. But you're the Pope, so... I feel like I would love to see that that standoff. I would love to see Pope versus uh, Kim Jong-un, is it now? Kim Jong-un, is it now? I, I, Il un Kim Jong-un. Hey, Withered! Welcome! How you doing? It has a presence on Twitch? Really? Huh. Interesting. Oh, well, I should stream that sometime. That would be great. Oh my god. Is it subtitled? School's going rough, but otherwise things are pretty okay. Oh yeah. Getting around to finals time, because it's right before the holidays, that's right. Wow. Is it subtitled? Because, uh... I mean, I mean, no, I mean no speak of the Korean. <sighs> it's good to be uh, doing art. I need, I need a, I need a, uh, uh, I need to like ease my way into the rest of the week. So I have tea, and I have wine, decaf tea, extra relaxing. No, it's best when inebriated or with MST3K style, style party. Oh my gosh, exactly. I mean, that's what kind of what I was thinking. I was like, maybe if I, maybe I could straight figure out, is it just, is it a 24 seven kind of a deal? Cause then I could just start, start streaming it whenever. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Or I could do it on Discord. All right, guys. Well, thank you for coming to my my stream tonight. Um, tonight we're doing chibis. Uh, this this handsome gentleman over here in the corner. This is this is or uh, this is Emperor Payne. This is a fellow streamer. Uh, Emperor Payne. I'm drawing Emperor Payne tonight because he was requested uh, by uh, one of the winners for the Maze Run uh, last month. Uh, Crucial Twins or Lucas. You know him as Crucial Twins or Lucas. And so he requested a hit. And and Emperor Payne is a buddy of his. So uh, I asked Crucial, I said, so what What do you want me to base it off of the existing, his existing chibi? And, or do you want me to go from a different description? And he's like, no, go on the base of the original chibi. So I have to make a, ch I have to reinvent uh, Emperor Payne's chibi in my own style. So that's going to be kind of challenging, but I think I'm, I'm up, I'm up for it. Hey, loons. Hey, cases. Guy, you need a nickname. Something perfect, you know, something non-offensive. So not something that I, you know. Loons is cute. You need something cute. I know, I know that, that's, that, that cute is the number one thing that you want people to think of when they think of you. So. Most of the time it's broadcasting a text message, but right now it's got a movie from the 60s. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, so we'll be doing, uh, I'm going to be doing, uh, oh, Art, hey, Katie Chung, thank you for, for subscribing again, for we subscribing. Yes, I have a, a, a November sub goal. It was, it dipped down to the 30s and I said, that's not good. <laughs> I'm going to at least pump it up to 50. So thank you. Yote works. Yote. I like that. I like that. Yote. Yote. Thank you for resubscribing and thank you for all your support. North Korea has a less public IP has less public IP space than Pizza Hut. <laughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me. All right. So the challenge here is I first I have to come up with a different pose. So first let's lock the layers that we we have here. Uh, let's lock that layer and we'll lock that layer and we'll make a new layer that we aren't going to lock so that we can draw on it. Oh, well, hello there, speak of the devil. So I'm going to play around first because I'm not quite sure what pose I want to do this in. So first I'm going to play around with poses. Uh, what I thought of was the like the superhero pose where it's like the hand on the ground and like the knees up and it's like 
the knee, other knee is down and like the cape is flowing, like that pose. I thought that would be kind of cool. The Vatican has 65k IP addresses assigned to it. North Korea has a 512. Oh, okay. You, speaking of you, I was just talking about Emperor Payne and how you requested this chibi of him. <laughs> um, then I could do uh, just like your basic, I could do like a huzzah pose, which would be kind of like a yeah pose. Where it's like huzzah. Um... But I feel like I did something like that to a lesser extent with the last thing you asked me to draw. You asked me to draw make a drawing of one of your friends as a prize. And I feel like that was the pose I did for that as well. Though he was holding up a, a trophy. But I kind of like this pose for a chibi. It's super cute. And that way you get to see the whole outfit and you don't get it obscured by the rest of the pose. Then... We could do, let's see. We could do a, we could do a, I have arrived pose. Just your, your standard huzzah, like, like another huzzah pose, but like, I won pose. <laughs> Er, funnier and I could do like I could do a stereotypical like magical girl pose where it's like flirty I could do like a flirty pose where it's like shoulders are slightly raised and hands are out like this and like one knee is up all cute and one toe it's like the toe is like pointed at the bottom like this and it's like tee -hee. magical girl pose <laughs> I could do that <laughs> I don't know if you would appreciate that. I don't know. I don't know Emperor Payne very well. I've I've raided him a few times, but I I don't know him too well. I just know his tagline, which is moist. He's gonna make it. He's gonna go deep and go moist. What do you guys think? Do you have any any strong opinions? He's very stoic and very like stern in this original one. So I don't want to go unless I'm gonna go full funny. I don't want to go too far away from that. What's everybody snacking on tonight? What's everybody drinking and snacking on tonight? Hey, Mayor Major Echo, welcome. Echo, Echo, Echo. Actually, I can do an Echo. I think I can do an Echo. I can do an Echo. Let me see. Although I can't hear it. Echo. Is this working? You tell me. Is it working? Hello. I don't know. It could be working. Probably not. Oh, it is. Excellent. Oh, no. It's over. Yeah, it's not an echo so much as a reverb. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> one coffee, one mug coffee, other mug paint water. Yes. The artist in me approves. I have a mug of wine and a mug of coffee as I, or a mug of tea. What if you click robot? What do you, what do you sound like in robot? Ooh, let me find out. Robot. Where's the robot, Bubba? Robot. Oh, here it is. Here's the robot button. Lunabot. Lunabot 2000. <laughs> Turn it off. No good. Probably no good. <laughs> okay. Well, let me see. Since nobody seems to have any strong opinions about what I should do. It didn't. I did. I pushed the button. I pushed it. I pushed the robot button. I pushed it on. I pushed it at it. There's another slider. Okay. Robot. I turned it on. Buttons. It's okay. It's okay. What was the superhero one again? Oh, the superhero one was, uh, let me see. Uh, the superhero one was, uh, there we go. There it is. How does that sound? 
Is it that in your nightmares now? <laughs> also, how is my audio? Am I peeking? I feel like I'm peeking. Am I peeking? I'm looking at OBS. Cease. Stop. <laughs> okay. So the, the superhero one was um, kind of like the one where it's the hand on the ground and then the knee, and the knee is up and like there's a hand on the knee and then the other knee is kind of down and but it's like all fierce and then the cape is like up here like that yeah superhero landing no it will need to queue up for my nightmares get in line luna get in line wait your turn luna yeah superhero landing you totes vote for the superhero landing okay well, you are the you have ordered this this as as yours, and so I will take your 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 desires into account. Okay. But now I have to start over. Because you can't I can't can't start from that. I could, but I don't want to. Leftover Chinese food and a decent beer. Oh, what kind of beer? What's the what is the beer? Of course you don't run. You exist. You exist in a democracy. Oh, that's a shame. I run a benevolent dictatorship, but I don't tell anybody that. It's not really a dictatorship until you. I have to. What's okay? So, I feel like I, I'm. I'm a little bit too humble to call it a dictatorship because I'm still kind of a cult level. Problem is, my cult really isn't a cult because the definition. In the definition of a cult, uh, you have to have a quote, um, charismatic leader. And I don't know if I, I hit that yet. I'm not as charismatic as I think I should be. Ha -ha, you fool! Victim to one of the classic <laughs> wonders! Ha ha, you fool! <laughs> Thank you. Listen, have you met men? Uh, yes. Um, I have met people who call themselves that, yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, thanks. By the way, Turley Tuft, if you guys weren't here last night, Turley Tuft almost got us to Canada. This is six mile bridges red. All right, almost. We're gonna. We're getting close. Now I have to decide what pose, we're, like what angle. I think probably to an ad at like a three quarters angle so that it works for like streaming. Gotta be cute. I'll be cute and chibi. You slept almost. I slept. I slept along the way. No, but I'm definitely gonna use your character, your character as it is for the next time I try. Because we were a good team. We we got hit by a lot of random game stuff that I'm gonna blame for our fail our ultimate failure. Um, but we were a good team. You fixed fucking everything. Everything that broke, every time the car broke, you fixed it. We never really had to get a new car. <laughs> I know. You fixed it. All right. So then we have the one knee up. Oh, Crimson, Crimson Narwhal is now following. <gasps> the Crimson Narwhal. Legends have spoken of a Crimson Narwhal. Some say it doesn't exist. But I know. I know. And here's the proof. <laughs> Welcome, Crimson Narwhal. No, I was two days out. I was two days out. And then you're close. So this knee is going to be up. And have this knee up. And I'll adjust the proportions here because it's going to have to be more chibi like. With the hand out like this. Like that. They do exist. The legends are true! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, actually, no. No, 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 no. Nah, 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 nah. I learned to believe that. Yes, I want to believe. It's gotta be the one where it's like, yeah, where the hand's out like this, because he's just landed. I haven't decided ultimately whether my chibis have four fingers or three. How goes the stream? It goes, it's just beginning. I'm drawing Emperor Pain, another uh, chibi of Emperor Pain, a, a, another a fellow VTuber, at the request of Crucial Twins uh, as a prize for uh, running the maze, uh, running the maze in October, the mi Minecraft maze. So then the knee, actually, the two knees have to be up. Actually, I have to do this so that the hand can come down and be all flatsies on the ground, like that. Just trying to figure out the pose right now. Like a frog, almost. But with, we're gonna have, we're gonna have the, the, the cape going back here. And with the cape, my my thought is I want to do because his whole thing is that he his cape looks like it, in the original one it's like it's wet it's water it's supposed to be like it's dripping a little bit so I kind of want to make the his cape in this one transparent so that it looks more like water so that's my idea all right so that's like now that we have that I kind of basic idea about it, time to chibi it up. Chibi the hell out of it. Because it's moist, exactly. Trying to put my signature on it. Um, in case it wasn't painfully obvious, um, I'm doing these chibis and offering them as prizes and things because my my intention is to eventually open up co um, commissions for them. Um, and I need, but I need work, I need samples of my work. So I need people to draw. Now I could just draw anyone I wanted and I've done that a little bit, but I kind of want to make it a part of my stream, so. And though that won't be showing. Hmm. Okay, so now we get to the part where we gotta adjust some proportions. Ah, so there's a mutual benefit to these prizes, yes. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. I mean, obviously I get a benefit either way, like I enjoy drawing them, so hooray. But like, <laughs> thank you, tiny. E. I want to do shrinking type. Now that part, no. Uh, let's see. Get tiny. But you gotta be wee and chibi. That leg is fine. But the other one is not. Could you draw a chibi alpaca with a machine gun? You damn right I could. Put it in the put it in the art the arts uh, prompt thread on Discord. I'm looking for prompts, my friend. I will do it. What I might do is like chat prompts night. I'll do a nice big art night. Extra long. An extra long stream where I do prompts from like sketch prompts from like I'll I'll do a bunch of them like really quickly and then I'll finish them up uh, uh, um, over the course of several other streams. But I'll do a bunch of like sketches of the like the underdrawing first. But yes, 
to answer your question. Yes, with great with great relish, I will do that. You do those giant sketchboards like art streamers do. Yeah, like a real art streamer, like a real one. <gasps> I will be a real boy. Let's see. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I want it to be heckin' cute. That's what I want, because that's the whole point. It'll be heckin' cute. I mean, people who explicitly stream only draw art, ya goon. <laughs> you big, dumb dope. Oh, I just saw your Hindi results. Congrats. Well, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, everybody's been super supportive, and I really appreciate everybody's help. So, um, I mean, as as time goes on, I'll keep you guys uh, up to date on what how things are going with, um, you know, with the further further testing that I'm planning on doing and further educa um, education I'm going to be pursuing for it. Um, as of now, it doesn't. It's not going to affect streaming at all um, because there's not too much of it that I can do at the moment for a variety of reasons, but. Um, I have, I do have plans, but at the moment it's, uh, it's just kind of in the background, but very much in process. <laughs> Why does my face, my face always looks so worried. Why do I always look so worried? I set it up before stream starts. Let me try it. Let me let me do something here. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's better. I don't know why it always makes me look so worried. I'm really not worried, you guys. Oh, thanks, Katie. Yeah, it was awesome. Felt so good. As opposed to hurting so good, which is, is a different experience. Yeah, I think we're going to go f three fingers and a thumb. It's it's not, I mean, it's cartoony, but it's it's, I think it's cute. For chibis. We're all cheering on our advanced alien. I'm advanced! Alright, it's brainwormed. I apologize in advance. You're welcome to hurt me good whenever. What? I missed something. Glad you forgot the thing you said, but the brain worm is out now. Okay. Yay! It's out in the open, where it can be free to metamorphosize. Become something more dangerous. We don't have any. Fa we don't have any. Here's what I like about Emperor Payne's design: is I like that it is understated. 
He doesn't try. He's not trying too hard. He takes. He uses his his stage presence to get across uh, his his intimidating nature, and I like that. Not too many bells and whistles. I like it. Yes. Luna, Silas, Silas Grayson, welcome to the stream. Let's see. Now I didn't give myself a nose. It's demand is following. It's demand, you guys. There's only one, and he's here. Holy crap! There's only one, and he just arrived. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. One thing I'm gonna do with this arm, though, that I'm looking at it, this this stretchy outy arm. I go and bring it in. Oh nope, that didn't do it right. Hey, what you, what, what you do? What's your deal? You just being weird? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab you and hope for the best. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, we'll try something different then. What is it what is why is it yelling at me? Oh, I see. I see. Wrong tool. I'll bring it in a little bit. It's too long. Turn it. Back it up. There we go. Oh, thank you for the gifted sub, Turly Whirly. Thank you. It's just me, one of one. Yes, all our others are two or lower. There can be only one. Yes, I'm working on, she's working on, but you'll have to wait for a request stream. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing pres presents, prizes. Shouldn't call them presents because they were, they were won in a, in a battle of wits. A battle in which I think I screwed up, which is why I'm being really generous with, with like, the, the definition of some of the, the winning, but like, I don't mind. It's fun to draw the chippies. And I was really happy that every that there were people that wanted to do the, the, the maze run. Let's see. Hands, foreshortened hands are the hardest thing in the whole world. Like first there's hands and those are hard enough, but then it's like now make it look like you're looking at it from the front. No, why is it so hard? At any time, you guys, please let me know if I'm, like, peeking or if I'm too loud. I feel like I overcompensate sometimes because I can't... I have it set up so I can't hear myself because if I could hear myself, I'd go crazy. Um, and I have OBS open and it sort of gives me an idea of, like, how loud I am with colors. Like, green, yellow, red, but I don't know what that means to you guys. Imagine needing to draw four shortened hands. It's... It's too much. No one should be, no one should have to endure the pain that is drawing for shortened hands. Hobby lobby sloppy toppy. <laughs> I love your name. That's the best name ever. Hobby lobby sloppy toppy. <laughs> Excellent. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. Sorry, everybody. There's a new favorite. Oh, look, it's a spam person. Wait, let's see, how many of these do I know? Dragon Ball Z, yes. Pokemon, yes. Naruto, yes. Sailor Moon, yes. One Piece, no. Digimon, yes. Bleach, yes. My Hero Academia, yes. Yu Gi Oh, yes. Hunter x Hunter, no. Full Metal Alchemist, yes. Soul Eater, no. Black Clover, no. Yu Yu Hakusho, no. Fairy Tale, no. Rave Master, no. Or Eden's Zero, no. Oh, you're asking me a question. 
You're asking which one one of those has to go. One gotta go. All the ones I don't recognize can go. That frees up a lot of space. So, so that was a very easy question, by the way. I'm pretty partial to or myself. <laughs> I like question mark. What are my pronouns? Just curious. L uh, l she. She and her. You can use they, too. I don't mind they. What's my favorite Studio Ghibli movie? My favorite Studio Ghibli movie is Princess Mononoke. To this day. A lot of them are real. I mean, a lot of them are really beautiful. But that one, I think that because of the timing of that one, um, when I first watched it in my life, it, it is a combination of the time I watched it plus the movie itself. But yes. She is rad as fuck. And she loves guns. <laughs> Let's see. How do I want to do this? Have you heard of Hamtaro? Have not. It's the breast name ever. It's the breast name ever. Oh wait, I gotta allow you you used you used ass bitch again case. I gotta allow it. Oh, no. Modbot got it. <laughs> I like that it's the combination of ass bitch that, it, that, that Twitch doesn't like. Or Streamlabs or whoever is doing the censoring. So, thus far, thus far I have not really explored the concept of eyeballs, or not eyeballs, of noses. Because they seem to, by and large, not exist in anime or chibis. But, like, there's always, like, like in this one, there's a shadow to indicate a nose. But... Ass, bi bitch ass is okay, perhaps. Yeah, you just said bitch ass, and it went right through. Ass bitch, though, you can't say it. Uh, when Marnie was here, older, I have a soft spot for Aria Zerum the, an Zerum the Animation. I've never heard of that one. That's Studio Ghibli? Ghibli? Is it Ghibli or Ghibli? Ghibli's makes me think of, like, jiggly things. How am I going to do these cornrows? These cornrows? Is, the, is that the proper word for these? I know there's a bunch of different way, names for African hairstyles and I, I am ignorant so there's looks like there's five total on the, that are going back and four coming forward Ghibli it's pronounced Ghibli okay thank you Oh my god. Grave of Fireflies. Do not. Scared to watch that one. You, okay. Here's what I will say about it. It's a beautiful movie. It's one of those movies that you should watch once, but you don't have to watch it more than once. It's sort of like, um, I always compare it to the experience of watching Schindler's List. You should definitely watch it. It's a beautiful movie. Very important to watch it. Don't have to watch it again. It's a Schindler's List movie. It's, it's sort of like... It's quote unquote important um, to add to the watch it one time, come and see. Come and see. I'm very glad I saw it, but never again. Right. So it's one of the, so Katie Chung, what I would say is um, give yourself, do it on a weekend, first of all, because you don't want to have to go into work the next day. Um, you just don't want to have to face people at all. You want to give yourself a whole 24 hour period where you can like, because you're going to, what's going to happen is you're going to be sad about it and then you're going to be fine. But then suddenly for no reason at all, you're going to remember it and you're going to be sad again and you're going to cry. The first time I saw it, I cried and then I, I was like, and then like, you know, 20 minutes after the movie was over, I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. And then I was like, I'm going to go take my shower. And I took a shower and I, I burst into tears 
in the shower. I cried in the shower. It was terrible. It was terrible. But it was, it's such a good, it's so good. But I cried. It was pretty hard. But let, that's all I'll say is like, have someone there with you if you want. Um, it's not necessary, I don't think. Because um, I don't think it will change how you react to it. But, um, yeah. Let's see. All right. So we have... Uh, I have to look at... How I'm going to position the, the head's kind of a funny shape. Gotta fix the head. Gotta fix the head. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. I don't like it. The forehead's fine. But the rest of the back of the head is not, not fine. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I grew up watching Sci-Fi Channel Saturday Anime and sneaking that in when my parents weren't paying attention back in the 90s. Oh, Saturday Anime. It plays right... Does it play right before or right after... It played right before or right after uh, Mystery Science Theater? I was thinking of watching it with my partner the other day, but ended up watching Millennium Actress instead. Oh, I've heard no, I've heard of Millennium Actress, but I have not seen it. All right, so we have this is the center of the fit. So we're gonna do one because there's five dreadlocks going back. This is actually quite difficult. This is a difficult hairstyle. I am unaccustomed to this style of hair. Uh, the Wind Rises, which I heard what that was good. Haven't seen it yet. Also, legit like this. Not playing the mod bot role. I really liked Time of Eve. Uh, I'll never watch a silent voice, and I want to eat your pancreas. Wait, and I want to eat your pancreas because they sound sad and depressing. The pancreas one. You need that. Don't want. Don't eat it. Don't eat your pancreas. Okay. So now we have the little antenna braids. Oh wait. Did I do that right? Am I on the right? Why is it so much lighter? Did I put the opacity down? No. What did I do wrong? Did I just switch? Oh, I, did I switch to a the wrong, different pencil? Sensitivity is all off. Suddenly. Darker pencil. Oh, maybe I was on darker pencil. All right. So I'll just... First, I'll just do a line for it. Or the two. I'll have them kind of spring out a little bit. There we go. And then I will draw along them in the final. Despite the title, I've heard that I want to eat your pancreas has nothing to do with eating pancreases. See? I kind of hate when movies do that. I, I understand... Like... So the movie, like, for example, the, the movie Life is Beautiful. It's kind of like that movie, that title could be applied to a lot of different movies, right? But when you have a title like I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, that's a very, that is like, Life is Beautiful is very generic. So you, so it's fine. But I Want to Eat Your Pancreas suggests that it is either about food, it is about waning health, perhaps, medical issues, perhaps. Um, and if it's not, then, then it's, now I'm just angry because I've, I, I have set myself up for a particular type of experience and that experience isn't happening. I would suggest Stalker, perhaps, or if, if you want to see a glorious disaster, The Color of Pomegranates, which we could watch on stream as it's just on YouTube for free. Oh, what is it about, pray tell? Is it about pomegranates? I do love a good pomegranate. Oh, so Emperor Pain has this collar, right? I have to figure out how to do that. It kind of sticks up. I'll do it like this. And then the other one will come out like kind of sticking out over there. I 
And then, oh, there's actually like, oh, the, the braid kind of continues to the back. Oh, Modbot! Oh, thank you for the gifted subs, Modbot! Oh, awesome! The time is 1970 and Russia is losing the cultural war, yet they have no idea how to make movies. Oh, oh, is this? Okay, so if you would like to know the crux of my distaste for modern art, uh, the culture wars, like between between Russia and, and the US between the 1950s and the 1970s is part of that story. Because if you read, you don't even have to read that deeply to learn that modern art is just kind of a result of the culture war between the between Russia and the US. <laughs> they demand movies, yeah, they demand movies, they demand art, they demand all kinds of things. Make it do things, do things. Make it better than the US. Oh, and then he has a goatee. Which I, I am going to do in a little bit of a less. Let's see, because he's smiling. They get this poet painter out of Armenia who has never seen a movie or moving picture in his life. Make a movie or die. Holy shit. Oh god. I mean, I would figure it out real fast. I'd figure it out real fast. Movies, moving, pictures. Make the pictures move. Got it. I may have to adjust the mouth a little bit so that the goatee fits better. But we'll see as we go. So then, how do I want this? This was just sort of a general idea of what the cape was going to do. So let's do... Another one of my weaknesses, drawing-wise, is fabric. Um, I don't... Although I don't stress out as much about fabric as I do about hands and feet. Fabric is less important to me. Um, I think because because it's so changes all the time. The color of pomegranate pomegranate is basically ninety minutes of moving paintings, which tells the story of a famous Armenian poet. It's legit full of a lot of classically beautiful shots, but trying to figure out what's going on what is going on. <laughs> If I ever wanted to get banned, I could try and show um, quills or um, Requiem for a Dream on stream. Except that I'd never have to see either of those movies again. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's so disappointing, with especially with quills, because I really like Michael Caine. And he's such a terrible person in quills. <laughs> Maybe I should make the cape more like, I don't know. Well, it, I want to make it look more like water actually. So let me correct this for a moment. gonna make these very very un very wiggly edge because I'm gonna do like splashy waves See better what I'm doing. I 
So I don't, I mean, people who watch me regularly know that I don't watch a lot of anime. I sort of like, as things come to my attention <laughs> that seem intriguing, I watch it. And it's not because I don't overall like the genre. It's just because I don't go out of my way to look for it. Um, there are so many things that I like to watch. Um, I like documentaries. I like horror. I like... You know, and, and there's only so much time in a day to watch any of those things. I like Great British Baking Show. <laughs> so, um, but, um, and so as things come to my attention, I watch things, which means that as things basically become popular in the West, I watch them. And I know that that gets a lot of criticism from, you know, quote unquote, true, true fans of the genre. So like, I know of uh, Attack on Titan. I know of uh, Made in Abyss. And I like those things. Um... But, um, you know, if you guys have anything, I'm trying to think of other things I've watched in the past. Like, for instance, I know of, I only watched the entire, the entire, uh, like, show, all, every episode of Trigun, because my roommate in college had the whole set, whole thing. Um, what else did I watch? Because I watched that with, oh, I watched, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched some episodes of Cowboy Bebop, less crazy about it, but it's. Cool. It's stylistically interesting. Okay, are you interested in going to Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios? No, actually. <laughs> Although, which is strange, because I do like Super Nintendo games. Should Harry Potter and Fantastical Beats have an animated series? No, I don't. Should Percy Jackson Heroes of Olympus have an animated series? No. And there's why. It's not because I don't like those things. Um, I want people, I want Hollywood and movie studios in general to focus on making, oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, sit, sit down, everybody. Focus on making new things, new things, different stories. Uh, you know, every once in a blue moon, there's a really great remake, but it's very rare. I'm scared of original ideas. So is ever so is most of Hollywood. Should Mighty Morphin Power Rangers have an animated series? Definitely not. It's it's a treasure as it is. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is a spectacular train wreck. And I love it. So you like anime with a strong style to it. I like anime with a strong style to it. I'm not huge on anime where there's a lot of. A lot of anime tends to have like a great deal of, um, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, mopiness, not huge on mopiness. Uh, it's just annoying. It's annoying to me. I think it, I, I don't know if there's a lot of uh, sad is one thing, like, d like serious is in, and sad is one thing, but like where you have characters that are needlessly mopey. It, it, it gets on my nerves a little bit. You had to have a very good reason for being that mopey, because otherwise you're going to annoy me real fast. It should definitely have an animated series. We have come, we have, then we are, we have disagreed on something, Crystal Empire. Clearly we can never be friends. I must, I must ask you to leave. <laughs> I will like, I will say this though. If first, if I heard that there was an animated series of the, the Power Rangers, I, I would peek in at it, in on it. I would, I'm not, I'm not proud. I would peek in on it. Curiosity would get the better of me. There's actually an animated series on development at, ha in development at Hasbro Studios. Hasbro. Hasbro has studios? Oh wait, did they make the the Lego movies? A melancholy of people who may or may not be Haruhi Suzumiya. 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 Well, if you want style and you're okay with sad but not overly mopey, Kaiba might be up your alley. I should probably open up another another channel in my discord for recommend anime to me. I can't promise I'll watch it in any, in, in any like reasonable amount of time just because I'm so busy, but you know, I'm curious. 
Oh, nope. They did not do that. All right. Maybe I should have Emperor Payne standing in a puddle, too. Oh, would that make him look like he peed himself? <laughs> All right, I won't do the puddle. That would make him look like he peed himself. I won't do that. That's mean. Don't be mean, Luna. Don't be mean. Make a puddle splat. Good idea. Good. Good. Like, uh, so it's like... And then, but like from the... Like it's... Kind of like that. I don't want to cover up too much of the hands. Kind of like that. Then he's landing in the puddle. Yes! Excellent idea. See, you're an artist deep down inside, Crucial. I think, you know what I think it is? You have commissioned enough art that now you're kind of, you're an expert at composition. Studio Ghibli should have had their own theme park. They got, is they got, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think that's a good underdrawing. We'll make it lighter. And for you guys' benefit, let me get closer to it. Now that I'm gonna go in. Going in deep, going in deep and moist in honor of, of Emperor Paint. <laughs> How are his little. Oh, they're just tied at the end. Alright, so we're gonna lock that down. Lock it down. So I don't know why this discussion reminded me of this. Maybe it's because of the theat. We're talking about general theatrics, like movies and then the theme park spinoffs of those movies. Um, what? Can we have it? We have a serious discussion about. There's a there's a a very serious problem sweeping the nation, perhaps the world. Um, and we need to talk about it, guys. I need to know how you feel, because it's driving me crazy. Um, so, I don't have a problem, in general, with themed weddings. Like, I want a Harry Potter wedding, or I want a Star Wars wedding. Whatever. It's kind of cute, actually. I approve. Um, what I, what I find weird, and what I find desperately uncomfortable, and maybe I'm the only one, because maybe I think too much about it, uh, when... Every single, every single write-up or photo shoot I have seen of a Star Wars-themed wedding has the groom dressed as Darth Vader and the bride dressed as Princess Leia. Does this not bother anybody else but me? Uh, I just, I just have to know if I'm the only one that's bothered by that. Why? Why would you? How can you call yourself a? How can you call yourself both an extreme fan of Star Wars? You know the movie. You know the, the. You know the world inside and out. And then you're like, let's get married. Let's have a Star Wars themed wedding. Excellent. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm the groom. I'm going to be Darth Vader. You're the bride. You're going to be Princess Leia. Whoa, whoa, dude. <laughs> Maybe he likes to be called Daddy. Listen. Vader has, I mean, when he's Vader, he has strong top energy, but like, as, as Anakin, kind of a, kind of a baby, kind of a baby, kind of a baby, bruh. Okay, brain got melted for a minute. Look it up. If you haven't seen this, Google Star Wars wedding. Now, sometimes you'll find them where like, they're vaguely, like the groom is vaguely dressed as like a, as like a Jedi, like just in the brown robe thing kind of getting around, but like they have, they'll be wearing like an Anakin wig or something. It's just, it's not okay. Yeah, I mean, that would be fine. Danny Danny, welcome Danny Danny, double Danny, double Danny 2020, 2012, sorry, not 2020. Welcome double Danny. 
It's a deadly invader. No, see, this is what I'm talking about. Welcome to Camp Luna. We ta we attack the really serious, important questions here. And it shouldn't bother me because I shouldn't care at all because I don't. I'm not a big fan of Star Wars, but I know what I like. I've seen. I know enough about it. Like I've seen it. I know enough about it to know the things. I feel like that's pretty basic. That's some pretty basic stuff there. But I don't know. I meant to bring that up as a topic of conversation in another stream, and I never did. Both bride and groom is Chewbacca. That would be fine. It would be great if they were had identical Chewbacca outfits, but then the bride had a bow <laughs> or just a veil. It should bother you because it's fucking low class bullshit. <laughs> it's ignorant. It's ignorant bullshit. It is ignorance. Culturally insensitive bullshit. So how would... I'm kind of going to cheat a little bit because I don't... I've actually never drawn braids or dreadlocks. Um or really any African hairstyle before, so um, I am going to cheat and just copy, kind of copy the style that this person did, just because I don't have a better, I honestly don't have a better solution to that. Just happened to my pen. There we go. But I will do this to the end. Fuck them! Have y'all seen the Lego? Oh, have I seen it? I live for that piece of shit. For that steaming pile of Christmas shit. It's on my list of things I have to watch every year. Not really. The only Christmas movie I have to watch every year is uh, Gremlins. It's a Christmas movie. Fight me. So with this smile, I'm going to do that. Make it a little bit less, a little bit smaller. Just so that this goatee makes more sense. Fits better. Opinion on Raylo. Um, Raylo, is that um, is that Kylo Ren? Like, is that a? I, I, this is where I lo you lose me because I haven't seen any of the newer ones. I've only seen the old, the, the original, the original three. Plus, part of like one of the I saw part of one of them, the newer ones, and I gave up part way through. Clone troopers, stormtroopers. <laughs> Never seen either. So I feel like, so when one has a goatee, the nose, I mean, the hair under the nose is generally pretty close to the nose. So I might actually indicate a nose by the shape of the underside or the top side of the goatee. Fans ship Rey and Kylo Ren. Oh, wait, aren't they, are they related? I know that Kylo Ren is the son of Han Solo and Leia. 
I don't know who Ray is though. I know Ray is. I know who she is as a character, but I don't know what her her parentage is. I won't be going to Star Wars Galaxy Edge because I heard it's, it was a waste of money, time and money. I just, I'm kind of one of those people that's like, when I was in high school, I loved reading fantasy novels and fantasy novels tend to be the type of books that run in series, um, long series. Uh, but I kind of got burned because multiple times I would read a series of books that I loved and the author would be so kind as to die before they fucking finished the series. It happened like two or three times to me. And that's when I kind of got to the impression of like, just leave it alone. Write a good one-time story and let it go. Leave it alone. Why, why do you have to half keep adding to it? That's what fans are for. Let fans write all kinds of lovely, like, stories about it, uh, uh, you know, and let them do their, let them live their fantasy. Let them have it. Give that, give that to them. But don't do any, don't do any more, th anything more canonical than that. I'm kind of a, like a one and done story person now. I, I, I'm like, nah, I want the standalone novel. Give me a really good fucking story. But I know people need them because they need their cash cow. And fans want them because they want more juicy de they want more juicy they want to know who who Harry Potter's fucking. I don't care. I don't I don't care. It didn't matter. It didn't matter for the original part of the it didn't matter. Why are we getting into that now? I don't care about his kids. I don't care about his parents. That's a different story. That if that was the story that that we were gonna that we wanted to tell, we would have told that story. Harry Potter's a ripoff, anyway. Ooh, controversy. Actually, I want to do one more little thing there. Yeah, one more. Now, that being said, I am a bit of a hypocrite because I do love Harry, I, not Harry Potter, um, Lord of the Rings. But in my defense, I actually have never read, I've read the first uh, the Fellowship and I got halfway through two towers before I was like, this is going on for too long. I can't finish this. I actually, that is one of those few situations where I vastly prefer the movie to the books. No, no, I can show you comics from the scar to the glasses, etc. Oh, I couldn't get to the books. I liked, I liked, um, I really loved, uh, The Hobbit. Again, a single standalone story in a universe. Now that's another, that's a, that's an exception. If you want to write multiple novels that exist within the same universe, I actually really like that. Um, Lois Lowry does that with, um, The Giver. Um, she has, now she kind of falls into this interesting category of young adult, but also kind of not young adult, especially with The Giver. Um, but she, in The Giver, quote unquote, Giver series, it's not really a series um, because the stories that are in, quote unquote, the series are all, don't involve the same characters, They but they all exist in the same universe. So you get these vastly different perspectives that are all happening contemporaneous, contemporaneous, contemporaneously, contemporaneously, but in different parts of this universe, in this world. That I like. I think that's really interesting. Because that involves different characters. It involves a new, basically a new story. I highly recommend, I re I've read The Giver of the multiple times, and it, and it, you'll look at it and you'll go, this is for fourth graders. No, it's not. It's not for fourth graders. Oh, Kanan! Oh, six months, baby! Thank you for resubscribing and thank you for all your support. Speaking of which, you you have a uh, you haven't given me what you want for your the deets on what you want for your chibi. 
can't make a chibi if you don't tell me what you want. No, it's okay. It's okay. I know you've been going through a lot. You've been a good, you've, it's been a bit, it's been a kind of a bitch of a year. It's been a bitch of a year for you. I just don't want, I don't, I, it's, I'm really actually saying it for myself. I don't want to forget about it. Like, I don't want to forget about it and then realize I never gave you your chibi. I'm saying it for, um, for witnessing perspective. Like if I, if like six months from now, I still haven't given you a chibi. Um, I want chat to be able to come back and say, hey, fucking Luna, make good on your promises, you, you, you stingy whore. Yes, stingy whore. The giver is good for fourth graders, but it's a lot deeper. Yes. So the giver is great, is fabulous. Um, and then there's all the other books in the in the series, like which which are good. They're good. I would recommend reading them all. But the giver is still the best of all of them. But there's there's the giver. There's Gathering Blue. Uh, there's another one, and then the last one in the quote unquote series is called The Sun. Um. I grew up reading nonfiction. Well, now it's time that now that you're not growing up anymore, now that you're rather than growing up, now that you're growing out, you can read fiction. You can read the smutty, the smutty romance novels that you've always secretly wished you could read without feeling weird. I may be projecting a little bit there. That's a good solution there to the, the issue of the nose versus the, the uh, goatee. And what I'll do is I will shove it forward a little bit. Shove it. Do that, maybe? No. Better. Yes. I read comic books now. Acceptable. I have a, uh, my confession about comic books is that I, I, w I always wanted, um, I've always wanted to get into comic books. The problem I've always had is that I, I hate, I hate it. And this is a very, I know that's a strong word, but I mean it. Um, I hate getting a comic book or looking at a, the outside cover of a comic book and seeing this beautiful cover art and then opening it up to find absolute balls inside in terms of quality of art. It doesn't have to be in full color. I understand that that's expensive, but I would appreciate it if like the line art was kind of a reflection in quality as to the external art. And that always bugs the crap out of me. So I always kind of gave up on, I kind of gave up on comics. I own one edition of one comic. And the story is abysmal. It's terrible. It's a, and I, it's, it's this thin, and I have it on my bookshelf. And the reason I bought it was because it was the first time I found a comic where not only was the, the art on the outside was as good as the art on the inside and we're approaching it and the, and it was full color. Um, and it was, uh, it's a tear again, Ramayana, it's Ramayana, I think like, 2000 or something it's supposed to be sp it's supposed to be space rama it's like space hindu epic it's terrible it's conceptually awful robots and spaceships and stuff but like but hindu epic so it's just weird mesh but artistically speaking i really liked it so i kept it and i was like this is the only one i'm sure there are others but this is like in my head i was like this is the only one Uh, a lot of mangas like that too, like amazing cover art, mad to decent art inside. I linked you to Something is Killing the Children, which is all one artist. Oh yes, you did. Uh, I think you linked me to a bunch of stuff, um, but I'm still trying to, I'm slowly perusing my way through. But uh, yeah, it's... Um which is sad because when I was in college, where I was, there was this amazing little comic shop. And I loved going there and looking. And I, every time I went there to look, I, I held out hope that I would find something that I could get, that would get me into it. Um, but I never found anything that really got me hooked, you know? 
I, I would say that I don't have a very addictive personality, though, so I don't know if that's part of it. I don't know if it's fair to characterize one's love of comic books as an addiction, though. Anything, I suppose, could be an addiction. Does the song Daisy Bell scare you? Would you be scared if a computer started singing? Uh, like on its own? I don't know if I'd be scared. I'd be confused. I think I would only be scared if a computer responded intelligently to, like, things that I said. Uh, kind of like how, like in those ghost hunting shows, they pull out the, the like, their recorders and they're like, ask it a question, and it asks a question, and then they fucking respond with, like, a real answer. It's not, like, vague. That would be scary. Uh, but not, not, not initially, no. I wouldn't be initially scared, because it's like, I would think, oh, because, because we have shit in our houses that talks to us intentionally, like, like Alexa or things like that, you know? Which I hate, by the way. Echo and Alexa and all that stuff. I had an Amazon Echo for a while and it annoyed the shit out of me, so I got rid of it. It only did two things I cared about. It did, it. if I wanted a recipe, it pulled up a recipe. If I wanted a song, it pulled up a song, but only if that song was in their library. And a lot of times it was not in the Amazon library. Um, cause I'm a weirdo and I like weird things. Um, but, um, and, but with the recipes, sometimes I would want a specific version of a specific recipe and Echo just, the dot just got confused. So I got rid of it because all I could think of was that, okay, I'm not using it very much and it's here. It can obviously hear everything that I'm saying and doing. And that makes me uncomfortable. Your little boy shows you his butterfly collection plus the killing jar. What do you say? What the fuck, Modbot? <laughs> My little boy. My little boy. Um, okay. Let's have this conversation now, I guess. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Now, my little boy is very vague. That's a li that little boy could be any, but that could be any age. I think we can rule out replicant. Oh, this is a replicant thing. I haven't seen that movie in a while, so I don't remember that particular question. It's in pudding. 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 There is always pudding. Um, now for the first question, if I want to answer you, I'll answer you seriously. Um, let's assume the little boy in question, because age matters, I feel like, in that question. It's different if you're a quote-unquote little boy. <laughs> Don't you try to tell me to shut up. <laughs> it's different if your little boy is five and shows you his killing jar. Versus if your child is, is your, if you're what, little boy is 18 and shows you his killing jar. If your little boy, quote unquote, is five, you redirect his passion for uh, entomology. Entomology? I get those two words. Entomology? I don't know. Bugs. You, you redirect his passion for bugs and you get him, you, you teach him that, hey, maybe you shouldn't suffocate the fucking bugs to get what you want. You could go to, like, I don't know, the museum or the, I don't know. You redirect. If if this quote-unquote little boy is 18 years old, you call the fucking cops. and You get the fuck out of there as fast as you can. You get out of there and you don't look back. You never call that kid again. You don't talk about that kid. Because that, that's, you have, a, you have a serial killer on your hands. That's what you've got right there. That's what they always say. You have a kid that like is like abuses animals and kills animals. You got yourself a future serial killer on your hands. Moving on to Coyote to to, to Yotes question. Your lover shows you a pornographic image of a woman in a magazine. He says he likes it so much he pins bikes. it on. <laughs> what bikes? What about him? 
What about bikes? Um, since he likes it so much, he pins it up on your bedroom wall. My lover, so on my bedroom wall, is it a shared bedroom wall? Or is it that like we live in separate spaces and he says, here, I'm gonna put this on your wall so I can see it every time I'm over. Um, because in that case, fuck that guy. He can hang it up in his own room. If it's a shared space, like we live together, um, I let him hang it up and then I draw like a dicks coming out of it everywhere. I just draw on it. Cause he didn't say he couldn't draw on it. And if, if, if it doesn't say you can't, then you can. Well, what if he likes the dicks? Well, then we have a discussion about bringing more dicks into the bedroom. Cause he didn't say that. All he said is he liked the titties on, on the image. He didn't say anything about dicks. The dicks is a revelation. If he comes to me and he's like, oh, but I like the really, now I really like it even more because there's so many dicks. I'd be like, oh, cool. So can we talk about that? Can I get more deets about that? I don't know if that helps. Come to Camp Luna. Only the most, only the most intellectual of conversations happen here. Y'all. So I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. Put it in the blue. I mean, that is a thing some people are into. What, dicks? Of course. <laughs> Lots of people are into dicks and dicks are in some people. No, like excessive dicks. <laughs> Can we talk about what that means, though? What is a, what one one man's excessive amount of dicks is another man's? I don't know. Not amount of excessive dick. I like it's dick. <laughs> I can tell you that some days. No amount of dicks is excessive. <laughs> oh, case. You have exceeded my ex my gay expectations. My gay expectations. <laughs> gay expectations. case there are days and i correct me if i'm wrong because we are in fact different people i know shocking uh there are days when when one dick is is too much it's too much dick one dick is too much dick i could do without i could would like to i would like 100 percent less dick today <laughs> oh my god there are those days where it's like could i just have a kit kat instead of a dick that would be great You wouldn't that cost? I didn't say I'm gonna stick it up my hoo ha. I just would prefer to, to ingest a delicious candy bar over having to endure the presence of a dick. <laughs> Can't believe I had to clarify that. Welcome to the internet, everybody. Welcome to the internet. Sure, sometimes I want nobody within a 90 mile radius. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are days where you're just like, no dick today. The kitchen is closed. Uh, we will not be serving anything today. There will be nothing available.
Oh, you guys, you make me laugh. Thanks for being in my corner of the universe. The corner of the inter internets, the interwebs. Because, gosh, it can be kind of a cesspool sometimes. Not that this isn't bottom of the barrel conversation right now. I'm saying it's fine. <laughs> I'm glad I have someone to talk to about it. Back to black. We're gonna do this puddle. Actually, first we should do the splashy splashies. I like the part in the song where it's vaguely Christmassy, like right now where there's the little bit of the, there's the um, tambourine in the back. What should I stream tomorrow, guys? As I, as I said yesterday, I, I was not originally going to stream tomorrow because I, I was not available tomorrow, but uh, my, my schedule changed. And I was suddenly available, and so I decided, you know what, I'm going to stream. But I'm not sure, I, I, it's between two options. Well, now, actually, now it's between three options, because I'm still kind of hyped from last night. Um, so I want to either do, here's the options. More art, SnowRunner, ah. I don't know, Keg, it's, it's like, you do it. You do it. I don't want to do it. You do it. <laughs> um. Uh. Let's uh, the the, the so the the options are not Snowrunner. The options are um, more art, more chibis, um, Hades, or Death Road to Canada. Those are the options. Modbot, can you can you put up a a, a poll for the, for the fine people here at Camp Luna? We are going to see the uh, golden belt that. He wears, but that's okay. He's got a cool pose, so it doesn't matter. What games? Internet keeps crapping for me. Oh, that's nice of it. Craps just for you. Uh, games are Hades, Death Road to Canada, or just more art, more chibis. Because I could be compelled to do any any of those things right now. Thank you, Modbot. ERTC sounds fun, but also art streams are chill. And I like also have time now on weekends. Woohoo! So I can drop in for whatever witch is for whatever witch is nice. Yeah. Woo! picker hello there cutie oh mod bot somebody's flirting with you again 
<laughs> Welcome, Badlish. Badlish Carlish. Badlish Carlish. How are you? <laughs> they like you. They really like you, Modbot. Ooh, it's a tie. It's a three way tie. Why is Goku an option? <laughs> If if people voted for Goku, I would find a way to do that. I there are there are I guess there are technically I mean there are Dragon Ball Z games. What is it with you and Goku, Modbot? You don't even I, w this is news to me. Do you, have you been are you like a secret closet Dragon Ball Z fan? I mean, DBZ fighting games are a thing, but they're bad. <laughs> Very bad. Bad in what sense? Like just bad gameplay? Bad design, all of the above. It's an old reference to a dying forum. Aww. Uh, DRTS is Death Road to Can- oh wait, DR- well, DRTC is Death Road to Canada. Easy combo cheesing that you poor- your poor opponent can't break out of a lot of the time. Infinite combos, that kind of thing. Ah, button smashing fun. Go back to black. Right. Let me get rid of this for a second. Let me do some... I'll have to do some cleaning up of the lines once I color it in, but... For now, let me just clean up a few things. Some of the most annoying things I'll have to clean up. Hmm. I should do that in a different color. Yeah. The only real fighting game is Virtua Fighter Kids. <laughs> Change my mind. Um, I don't know. I think my favorite, only because of the modification, like the modding possibilities involved, has always been um, Soul Calibur. Because in Soul Calibur, you can make Gandhi fight Oprah, and that is priceless to me. You can make Hitler fight Michael Jackson. It's outstanding. Are you kidding me? Nobody voted. Like one person voted all of through all. Are you guys fucking with me? You guys are the worst. You're like those friends that are like, you You get all to get together and you're like, what do you guys want to do? And everyone's like, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Let's let you decide. No, make a decision. <laughs> make a decision. Well, I can reduce it a little bit because Kanan at least said out loud either art or Death Road to Canada, so that just ties it between two. Fixing the poll. Well, while you're fixing, while everybody's voting, I have to pee. I'm playing SnowRunner, you hag. Why? Why? It's how could this? How could that be more important? It's such. It's such a slow game. How is that keeping your attention right now? I'm going to use the bathroom and I will be right back, you guys. But go vote. Do a vote. Do the thing. Make a choice. Don't worry. I can't see who voted. I cannot see who voted for what. So don't worry or anything. I don't know. Don't be insecure. Be confident. Do your thing. And I'll be right back.
All right. What are we doing? Oh, you motherfucker. You know what? You know what, Modbot? You're fired. You're fired. Also, you see what he's, you see, everyone sees what he's done. Everybody sees what he's done. You're going to pay for it. We're going to do Goku tomorrow night. I don't, I'm not going to explain what that means, but we're going to do Goku. Goku won, so Goku it is. And your suffering will be Modbot's fault, but mostly your own fault because you didn't, you know, you didn't, you didn't put balls to the wall and just say what you wanted deep down inside. You were too afraid and now you will suffer the consequences of your cowardice. There will be Goku. There will be Goku and there will be rage. There will be, there will be, we will super saiyan the fuck out of this channel. I'm not going to explain what that means. It could be, it could be a fighting game. It could be something else. I don't know. We're, we're going to figure, you'll find out tomorrow. So congratulations. Congratulations. Not yet, you don't. But you will. Oh. Oh, you will. My, my vengeance is swift. My vengeance is swift. And unrelenting. But now back to the comfy art stream. <laughs> Clean up some lines. Before we get started on color. Yeah, Goku won by a landslide. If only he knew. Dragon 144, thank you for the raid. Boop. Blo oh, bloop. No, blooping. We're blooping now. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the drawing, Stram. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? All right, we're going to call that the reference layer. And then we're going to make color layer underneath it. Be a little bit tricky. But we can do it. I believe in me. <laughs> we'll start with well, I'm gonna just do color I'm gonna straight up color pick this this some bitch. Good, lots of things happened. Woohoo! Things happened. I love things. Actually, for this one I'm gonna do what I want to do. What real art art streamers do? I'm gonna start, oh no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm gonna do what real art streamers do. Why didn't that work? Okay. What did I do? No, refer only to refer to unfill and close and uh, refer all other layers. Yes, refer only to the editing layer. No, paint unfilled area. There we go. And then, once we have that done, we'll see, we can do this. I think. Trying to be, I'm trying something different. Now we'll go to the color picker. Oh no, we lost Emperor Pain. It's okay. There he is. Ta da! All right, Luna, I, it's time for me to call it a night. Been dozing off for a while. Sorry. Hey, no worries about it. Have a good night. 
Thanks for coming. I'm glad you find me so relaxing. I'm going to take credit for your drowsiness. I hope that's okay. Let's see. There we go. want basically this whole thing. Oh, interesting that it did that. Here's what we're going to do with that one. Nope. Interesting. New plan. Anyone else want to play D&D something fierce? <laughs> I don't know, chat. You want to you want to roll some some 20-sided die and pull out your graph paper? <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna be a bitch about it. Kind of do. <laughs> Maybe we should find somebody after this stream who's playing D&D &D and we can raid them. Modbot, that's your assignment. Find somebody playing D&D &D and we'll raid them. brown here and work that. I forgot about the little braid coming out the back. I'll have to add that one later. Luna small. We got a we got a shrinky dink. I got all shrinky. Okay, I'm gonna get shrinky. I'm gonna shrink. Time for small Luna. Small Luna's gonna have a hard time drawing, but she can do it. She's magical. I'm shrinking. No, no. I'm still shrinking. Time for art, everybody. <laughs> Yay! My pen's too big! I'm gonna go stand on Kimber Payne's knee! I'm gonna go stand on my logo! Wee! <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bigger, just a wee bit bigger, just so that I can peek out there. I'm working on art now, just to see if anybody cares. <laughs> too small! <laughs> Too small? How about that? There. I peek sees. Sneaky peek. You can kind of still see me moving. <laughs> Wood protect. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Hmm. Emperor Payne's like main shirt is kind of the same color as mine. Cool. 
Shirt friends. Shirt BFFs. Of course, I'll just go ahead and do the shadow color here. Here. We'll do the dark version of the gold color down here. And the light version of the gold color up here. Need to see that set up the tea teacup to be a hot tub. Wait, I bet I can do it. One second. I can do it. I believe in me. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, I can't because I'd have to cut a, a layer in the teacup. I can be behind the teacup, but I can't be in the teacup. Damn. But yes. Write it down, things to do. Make teacup into hot tubs for, for when people redeem small Luna. So now, because I want the water to be transparent, I need to draw in his back, actually. What we'll do is we will put it on. That's, that layer is fine. We will draw it in blue. Shit, that won't be right. And then we'll make it kind of, we'll just, what we'll do is we'll make it the same color as the lighter blue color. And then when we put the other color over the top, it will, we'll put the color for the cape on a separate layer so that it can be made transparent. my plan anyway. Oh yeah, thank you for being so nice to our lurkers. Are you enjoying small Luna? <laughs> I'm so tiny. Tiny wave. <laughs> this, this music's very triumphant for how tiny I am. Small but strong, yes. Fist pump. I wish I could sit. I wish I could sit. I wish I could dance. I'm dancing on the inside. to the puppet show. <laughs> I'm back. There we go. My transition music. <laughs> to be the reference layer. 
like normal, but we want this layer locked, we want this layer locked, we want this layer locked, but not this, oh no, lock it. Lock it down. Don't make more of it, just lock it down. Dancing on the inside reminds me of that Japanese amusement park operator who told roller coaster riders to scream inside your heart to avoid spreading COVID. Oh, right, I remember hearing about that. <laughs> scream inside your heart. <laughs> oh, no. So, what we'll do, Zs, is we'll first let's do. All right, that didn't work like I wanted it to. This will work like I wanted to for sure, Zs. We do this. It doesn't read as transparent. It's only gonna read as transparent because there's that line there. So that's fine. We'll leave it for now. But I also want this to read as white. Cool. Select, deselect. That. paintbrush instead. Why does this music feel like it's from Naruto? Because I stole it! No, I have no idea. I need to be bigger. Bigger! Give it back. I'm only borrowing it. Woo! Whoopsie. Okay, a really fun little book in Skyrim. Oh, so cute.
Interesting that it does that. I feel like layers in Clip Studio work funny. Forget about the boots, the bootstraps. Gonna need those to pull himself up by, right? So that's the base color flat. Wait, one thing I want to fix before we end the evening. I'm also going to go in with just a pen. Just a pen. Do some details. Oh, interesting. Well then. You're gonna make me go over the top, aren't you? Oh yeah. Okay, we'll do it on top then. We'll go on top. That helps a lot in terms of making it look more like water. I'll go down here and do it in this part too. with how it's gone so far. All right. I think that's a good start. What's left to do now is to do the shading and the highlights. And then I, as I, I like to do, I like to take it into Photoshop and put pattern overlays over parts of it. Um, so that I will do, but probably another another 30 to 40 minutes and it'll be done so uh, that's good I feel good about that so that's what we got that's how we how far we got today with Emperor Pain Chibi based on the original design so I think it's coming along I think it's coming along so let me save that before I lose it
Okie dokie. All right, you guys. Well, that's going to be it for tonight. Good chill stream, Luna. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for coming along for it. I appreciate I always like company on these chill streams. I mean, I like company on all the streams. I guess I wouldn't stream if I didn't want company. <laughs> um, so who should we raid? Let's see. Who's on? Kitsu Kitsu, Sunia, Pahi is on, Nefeli is on, Rilu Live, Chiro Fish is on. Anybody else have somebody they want to suggest? Nobody has any preferences. Because if nobody has any preferences, I'll probably go with Kitsu Kitsu. Or, yeah, Kitsu Kitsu probably. Back in time to raid. Yeah! Yes. Thank you for a comfy stream, even though I missed half of it. Hey, no worries about it. Pahi, okay. <laughs> well, we raided Pahi last night. We raided Pahi last night. Let's raid a different human. A different... Stuimo. Um, yes, get your, your raid emotes out. Get them ready. Let's see. All right. Kitsu Kitsu's been away for a while. So we'll raid Kitsu Kitsu. We'll raid Kitsu Kitsu. Kitsu Kitsu, what's she doing right now? Kitsu Kitsu. Kitsu Kitsu is playing Resident Evil 4. There's so many Resident Evils. How can you keep track of them all? Um, Host the channel. So, as I said, tomorrow I'm streaming, and because all of you were inactive, because all of you sat by while evil was allowed to endure, you're going to have to live with the consequences of that, and that will involve Goku in some form or another. So, um, if you're not cowards, you'll be there, is all I'm saying. <laughs> um... You did. You missed something very important, and now you will suffer for that. For that. Wait. Is she not? Wait. Did we raid? No. Did she not? I wanted to raid. Raid a channel. Raid a channel. Hitsu. Start raid. Doing it. Whoopsie doodles. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>